is I say this is the old flag because if you look at the demographic area of this, this is the old Sudan. But seeing we have independent in 2011, this part here, the one that shaded with the black here, that indicate the land of the black people or the Kuch, the source, this is now the original South Sudan. And the white area, including the red area here with the green, is, the, so is, is now the Sudan. South Sudan is this little bit here. One of the biggest challenges now that we are facing because of the current uh, ethnic conflict that is happening back at, uh, at home South Sudan my community is not, is not in peace now. I'm trying to work very hard, especially to, to bring peace within uh, South Sudanese community here in Western Australia. When I first came to Western Australia, it was quite uh, challenging to me. I came with my two sisters and a brother. I came in South Sudan back in, in 2000 when there was a war in South Sudan. And from there we flee to Kenya, in in refugee camp called Kakuma refugee camp, is in northeastern Kenya. We walked from uh, Sudan on foot. It took us a month, and we reached Kenya in the border of Sudan and Kenya, where we were welcomed by the United Nations High Commission for Refugees, and they take us to Kakuma refugee camp. All uh, family members and the rest of friends will leave them behind in South Sudan because when the war broke out in South Sudan, we flee into different direction. Uh, so most of my friends and some of the family members uh, have come to realize now some of them are alive and the rest are not alive due to the war in South Sudan. And it, it was really very a challenging uh, journey uh, from South Sudan to Kenya. South Sudanese community being the largest group here in Western Australia or within an African community, uh, we have South Sudanese as an umbrella, but there are sub-communities because Sudan, it got about 264 different tribes, and those tribes, they have about 64 different languages. So South Sudan is the umbrella of those sub-communities, but we have some sub-communities within South Sudanese community. Most of uh, the problem that we are especially facing nowadays is the problem of the youth. Youth problem is the biggest issue. And another issue is the domestic violence, because back in Africa, a husband is the head of the family. If you try to stress back to where you come from or try to do things in a culturally way, uh, these issues of domestic violence try to emerge, and uh, these are the issues that are uh, facing the community. Another, another issues now are uh, the kids being taken away uh, from their parents uh, by the Department of uh, Child Protection. If you lose the culture, and, you, and the culture that you are going to adopt, you are not even going to, to, to participate in that culture fully. You will be in between. You will be just like somebody, like the, a lost ship. You will, you, will not, you will not know your culture, and you will not in the culture that you, you want to uh, adopt or assimilate yourself in. So you, you will be just in between culturally lost. It is really going to be a, a great challenge. That's why I said it's better if we keep our culture and embrace it with the Australian culture. I can say Australia is the best country in the world based on the hospitality that the people uh, give here and on the opportunities that are here, uh, like the opportunities which are here in Australia compared to where I come from, those opportunities are not there. Uh, like here you can get education, and here you can get a good job, and here you, you can even establish your, your life in a very a well organized person if you put your mind, respect it, the law of this land, respect of this country, all those values that make one to be an Australian. If you respect those values and put your mind down, 
uh, my message to youth is that life is what you make to, to get what is good here and leave what is bad.